going to build a beach today, team. And this is the perfect place to put it. A beach? Here? It'll just be like any other beach. Not just like any other beach. Our city beach has got to be a blue ribbon beach. No rubbish anywhere. Ooh. Don't worry, Mr. Bentley. We always leave everything clean and safe once we're finished. That's good, Bob, because when the inspector comes, it has to be the cleanest, tidiest beach ever. One Blue Ribbon City Beach coming up. Bob, Wendy, careful with those paint cans. We can't have paint spilling all over the place. <gasps> oh, my wheelie bin! Oh dear. We'll never get clean and tidy at this rate, Muck. <laughs> the blue ribbon inspector could arrive at any time for the inspection. Really? Oh yes, the mystery inspector could be anyone who comes near the beach. So keep alert. <gasps> uh, inspector! The inspector calls! Huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, Mark, what are you doing? The inspector. I think the only thing he's inspecting is the bird light. I panicked, didn't I? I think you did. Will we be able to finish the beach in time for the inspection, Bob? Yes, if we work steadily and don't panic. So, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well done, Muck. That's the last of the garbage for the bin. Off you go. Oh, dear me. Look out. Huh? The blue ribbon inspector's coming. Huh? Litter. I'll get it. No, Muck, leave it. Huh? Oh. Here is our pride and joy, the brand new... Oh. Gotta pick up the garbage. How? Uh, I know. Mila, JJ, Brandon, quick! Sure, Muck. Okay. Uh, oh. Oh. We won't get the blue ribbon now. There's still a lovely beach we've built. We may as well enjoy it. What? We got a blue ribbon after all? The inspector said she's seen such efforts to keep a beach clean and tidy. Well done, Team Bob. Oh, are you okay, Lofty? <laughs> well, we've checked the rest of the building. The answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? huh? Whoa! 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 Whoa. We found our ghosts, Wendy. They're bats. Ghosts! <gasps> no! <laughs> Dizzy, Lofty, Mr. Bentley, we've solved the mystery. It's bats. Where are they? Um, uh, over here. <laughs> um. It's okay, Lofty. Look at the bats. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, yeah. They are amazing. But I wonder how bats got inside the town hall. Bats only come out at night, so they must have been sleeping somewhere inside during the day. They flew out of the fireplace, so maybe they were in the chimney. Yes, good thinking. We'll go up and check in the morning. You were right, Wendy. I found this hole yesterday and sealed it up. If that's how the bats were getting inside the chimney, they wouldn't be able to get out again afterwards. The bats were sleeping in the chimney. I accidentally blocked up their way out. So all you have to do is make another way out for them. It isn't that simple, Lofty. It's okay for bats to sleep there when it's summer, but they'd be hurt if anyone lit a fire when it's cold. Oh, no! You've got to find a way to keep the bats safe, Bob. Don't worry, Dizzy. We'll build the bats a new house and put it by the chimney where they used to sleep.
I'm sure the bats will feel at home in their splendid new bat house. Now I need to work out how to tell the mayor about her new neighbors. <laughs> Good luck with that, Mr. Bentley. Oh, dear. I knew all along that the town hall wasn't really haunted. Of course you did, Lofty. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe not that much oomph. Oh. Wendy's taking ages and ages. What are we going to do? Wow, that looks fantastic. Yay! Oh, good idea, Muck. Cheering might hurry her up. Woohoo! Awesome, Wendy! Now let's load up and get back to the yard! Yeah! In a bit. I want to put up a backdrop to shine stars onto. Oh, no. Okay, I need a new plan. <gasps> oh, I've got it! Muck, huh? new plan. Hide the backdrop. Huh? Wendy won't find it, so I'll have to take her to get a new one back at the yard, where her party is. Oh. Got it? Um, I think so. Okay. Now, Muck, move back so Wendy doesn't see it. Quick! She's coming! Um, I'm sure the backdrop was here. Nope! Haven't seen it. So let's go back and get a new one. Back at the yard. Don't worry, Wendy. Huh? I'll help you look. No, Muck. That's not the new plan. Got it. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Muck. Lofty, can you take it over there for me? Oh, Muck. What? <gasps> oh, Wendy wasn't supposed to find it. I get it now. Sorry. Hmm. If Wendy doesn't come soon, we won't have enough time for the party. I'll have to take her straight to the movie. No way! But we've all worked so hard. Okay, wait here. I'll go and see where she is. Let's go, Scoop. Okay, Bob. Okay, that's the lights for the stars all wired up. I just need to hang them so they shine onto the backdrop. Lofty! Can you please lift this lighting bar into place for me? Coming! It's almost the end of the day. So, here's my new, new plan. To do all the jobs super quickly. Starlight, going out! Careful, Lofty! Don't worry, Wendy! It's all in place. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Whoa! Man overboard! Gotcha. Uh, uh. What were you doing up there? Mr. Bentley wanted me to fly a flag from the mast. I see. You're a bundle of ideas today, aren't you, Captain Bentley? Just doing my job, Bob. Glad my expertise can be of help. Perhaps we could use your, um, expertise to check the weather forecast for the sea trial. Splendid idea! Where can I find the ship's barometer? We don't have one. Perhaps you could use my tablet to search the internet. Oh, not exactly what Horatio Fixum would have used, but I suppose it will have to do. Okay, Leo. We'll fix the crow's nest later. Come and help me attach the rudder. Oh. Oh, dear. Not good at all. There's a strong westerly wind on the way and the tide's going out. We need to make sure the ship is tied safely to the dock. Uh, Bob! In a minute, Captain Bentley. Never mind. This is a job for the captain. I shall retie the ropes myself, just to be sure. Over, under, pull it tight. Make a bow and it's tied right. There. All secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. 
Uh, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What's happening? No. Oh. oh, that's not good. Whoa. <gasps> the ship and Captain Bentley. I haven't connected the engine yet. He's going to drift out to sea. Back up, Lofty. Quick as you can. Yes, Bob. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Off we go, Lofty. Follow that ship. Mr. Bentley, drop the anchor. I... I don't know how. I'll stop it, Bob. <sighs> oh, missed. I can't reach. What? I can't reach. What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, Gull? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in. I can catch her up. It's time to find your sea legs. Jump in, landlubber. I just have to place this log here. Oh, Lofty, you're taking ages. I know. I look for things that we need for our adventure. You can help when you're finished. Do you even know how to go camping? Yep. The Spring City Rockets showed me some outdoor skills. Oh, wow. Bob can make us a campfire with these. See? I know everything about camping. There. A perfect pile of logs. <laughs> what was that? Scoop! Look at my logs! They're all over the place now. Oops. <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be helping Muck? Oh, yeah! Muck! He'll definitely want to come hiking and camping. I'll go ask him to... Oh... So, campers have to follow these trail signs, and then they won't get lost on their walk? That's right. So put the first trail sign at the start of the trail, here, and then put the rest along this path through the woods. Here, you better take the map to help you. You got all that, Leo? Yeah, I've got an amazing memory. I won't forget a single thing. <laughs> he forgot the map. Yeah. Oh! See? I remember everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the end. <laughs> oh, that sailor! Wanna come camping? We can collect wood for a campfire, explore the woods, go for a hike. Oh, wow! Uh, do you really know how to do all that? Of course I do! So come on, let's go! Uh... Right now! Oh, wait for me! First, we can look for animals. Ooh, animals! Where should I look? Hmm. Then later, I'll sing a camp song. Scoo! Wait! I thought we were looking for animals! Huh? Muck? I said hi. I said hey. Let's go camping for the day. <laughs> Scoo! Are you sure you know how to go camping? That's the floorboards finished. The trail signs are finished too. Great! Time to finish the roof. Lofty? Are the logs ready? Yes, all ready, Bob. Scoop knocked the pile over and it's taken ages to build it back again. Oh, oh no! Oh, so really? Mega Super Skate! Oh, was that it? No, no! Stay there, Trent. That was just a practice. Right, here comes the real thing. Go on, then. Last chance. Oh, oh no! Get out of the way, Trent! Huh? Uh. Trent! Trent! Uh. Oh, no! Trent! Where are you? Can you hear me? Over here, Scoop! 
Uh, kind of. Oh, dear. I can't move. I'm completely stuck. Hold on. I I'll take you out. Oh, I'm sorry, Tread. The there's loads of snow. Th this is going to take ages. But you won't be able to get all the way over here without snow chains anyway, Scoop. Find Wendy. She'll know what to do. Yes. Okay. Good idea. I won't be long. Quick as you can, though, okay? It's really cold in here. Wendy! Wendy! Help! What is it? Wendy, there's been an avalanche. An avalanche? Where? And where's Tread? Tread's been buried down this hill. The avalanche just came whooshing down and buried him. And I couldn't dig him out because I haven't got snow chains. And... It's all right, Scoob. It's all right. Don't worry. You did the right thing not to try. We don't want you getting stuck too. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Bob. We've got an emergency on Observatory Hill. We need to stretch here as quickly as possible. We're on our way. Poor Tread. I hope he's all right. Wendy says he's very cold and very stuck, but not hurt. Oh, well, that's good. With your track stretch, you should be able to get across the snow and dig him out. Oh, I'll do my best, Bob. Oh, Wendy. I was so lucky. The avalanche missed me, and it would have missed Tread, too, if I hadn't made him stay put to watch me do a slide. It was an accident, Scoop. You mustn't blame yourself. What matters now is that we all work together quickly and calmly to rescue Tread. I'll do anything I can to help. Yes, I know you will, Scoop. Thanks, Scoop, but I haven't filmed Muck yet. Aww. You want to film me? Are you sure? Just tell the camera how you clear away dirt. Oh, uh, I, uh, 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 I... Don't worry, Mark, I've got this. As you can see, breaking up the ground makes a lot of mess. So we have to clean up after ourselves. Scoop, you're gonna hit the... Oops! Oh, intercom unit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh th th don't worry. It's just a little bump. It'll be fine. Oh! Oh, uh, I'm clearing, uh, dirt. <laughs> and I'm pouring cement. Then we'll put large stones on top of it to make the new curve. Oh, but I'm the one with the talent and good looks. There. The intercom is ready. Great. And now it's time for a milkshake. You're not going to make another one. Don't worry, Wendy. This time, I'm going to make a simple strawberry milkshake. What could go wrong? Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot to put the lid on. Hmm. Oh, it's almost time for the opening. How am I ever going to be the star of Leo's film? Hi, Scoop. Spring City Rockets are ready to be the first drive through customers. So, where do we go? This way, Betsy. I'll show you. <gasps> That's it! Hey, Leo! Betsy and the Rockets are here. Why don't I lead them through the drive through for your film? Oh, that's a great idea. This is going to be the grand finale. So let's make it the best bit. Okay. Get ready, everyone. The drive through is opening. And action! Welcome to the new milkshake bar drive through First stop, the menu! Wow! This looks awesome! What can we order? Cool! Uh-oh! Scoop, you're blocking the way! Everything okay? Of course! Uh, everything's fine, because, because Chef Tatty will now ask for your order. Whoa! Oh, watch out! Oh. Oh. Uh, Two-ton, where's the important bit? The one shaped like a big bowl. Don't worry. I'm going to get it in a moment, Lofty. Oh, I can't wait! Thanks, 
Lofty. May, May, what will we see and hear from the radio telescope? Well, Scoob, usually it finds signals from very far away in space. But tonight, I'm going to receive a special signal from my twin sister, Lynn. Lynn Moon is an astronaut. Wow! That is amazing. And today's our birthday. Happy birthday! Thank you. Lynn's on board the World Space Station, circling high above the Earth. Mission Control has told Lynn I'll be trying to make contact, so we can wish each other a happy birthday. May, do you think I could speak to Lynn? I'd love to speak to an astronaut. Of course, Lofty. No problem at all. <gasps> This is literally the greatest day of my life. Okay, team, let's get going. Yay! So May's sister is in a space station somewhere up there. I can't wait. I've got so many questions to ask her. Like, has she met any space alien robots? Oh, oops. Careful, Scoop. Sorry. The radio telescope is very delicate, guys. It can be easily damaged. So please take extra care around it. Okay, yes, Bob. Wendy. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. We do see dancing giant space alien robots, Lofty. They might even visit us. What? Come here? All the way from outer space? That is awesome! Okay, oh. let's start assembling the telescope. Pass me the first panel, please, Lofty. Will do! Slowly, gently. Shorten the hoist line. Oh, oh, I can't control it, Bob. Ah! Oh. oh, no, I can't hold it. Here comes the mosquitoes. Oh. Ow, yay! yay! Well done, Scoop. That was your big moment. Well done, my camera drone. Oh, no! Did you get any of that? Oh, no. I am so sorry. I ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway's cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. Okay, Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera's okay, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And, Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either. Especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one. So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey. Mm? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I am ready for my big mo- Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can! Yes, you can.
So there it is. Spring City Racecourse's new gateway all finished. And cut! <laughs> Nearly there. <sighs> wow, 10 pallets in a minute. That's really fast. Well done, Lofty. How does your new claw feel? I love it. It was worth waiting for. Now I want to build something 10 times bigger. That's good, because today I need you to do just that. Really? What is it? The new Spring City Pyramid. Spring City what he made? Pyramid. Pyramids were huge stone buildings. They were built thousands of years ago. Whoa. Our pyramid is going to house a new exhibition for the museum. That will be awesome. Let's get started. Am I going to be building the pyramid on my own, Bob? No, Lofty. Tiny's helping build it, too. I love working with Tiny. He's great. Oh, it's already half built. I thought we were starting from the beginning. We couldn't wait for your new attachment to arrive, Lofty. I just thought I was going to build more of it. There's still lots to do. The mayor's coming to inspect the pyramid tonight, and Tiny can't finish it on his own. Hey, Lofty! You ready to help me with this thing, little guy? Oh, ready to go, Tiny! Nice claw! Yes, it's got twin hydraulic compaction for increased torque capacity. All right! Off we go, then. Hey, Bob. How's it going, Wendy? The exhibition chamber's built. Now we just have to install the fittings. <gasps> What's in those? Precious ancient artifacts for the exhibition. I need to get them sorted and safely inside the pyramid as soon as possible. No problem, Anish. Okay, team, this is a big job. Can we finish it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Be a pal and unload these stones. I need to rush back and collect another batch. But I'm building two ton. Go on. Give him a hand, Lofty. We're still on schedule. Hi, everyone. Oh, Bob, everything will be finished before we reopen this afternoon, won't it? Yes, don't worry. Leo and the machines will build the bear's new climbing frame while I repaint the washroom and fix the plumbing. Oh, and could you take a look at the sign over the penguin enclosure, too? It looks a bit wobbly. Of course. Let's do that now. It's your build, Leo. You call it. Thanks, Bob. Well, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! I just tried to make a cup of tea, but there's no water. <laughs> I know. I switched it off so I can do the plumbing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Silly me. I don't suppose... Yes, I'll switch it back on so you can make some tea. Hilchard? What's she doing here? She wanted to come to work with me. She really shouldn't be here, Scoop. But I've trained her well, like Steffi trained her dog Rex. She'll behave herself. I know she will. You won't tell Bob, will you, Leo, Lofty? 
Okay, then. I suppose not. But you have to look after her at all times, Scoop. I will. Promise. Go on, Pilchard. You stay away from the bill so you're safe. See? She does everything I say. Hmm. How's it going? Ah! <laughs> you okay, Scoop? Oh, uh... Oh! Uh, yes, Bob. Fine, thanks. No problems. Right. Oh, yes. This is all looking great. Huh. Thanks, Bob. I'll get on with the painting, then. Call me if you need anything. Of course. Right away. Pelchard. Oh, there you are, girl! <gasps> Was Pilchard in that pile of wood? Oh, Scoop. She could have been hurt if Lofty had picked up one of those posts without knowing. I only took my eye off her for a second and she wandered off. She shouldn't be here at all, Scoop. Uh, I... Bob, whose shed is Philip using for the night? I don't mind sleeping outside with all the bats and the ghosties. Thanks, Scoop. Phew, that's good. I don't like sleeping outside. The cylinders are packed away safely, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. Now, we've got an early start tomorrow, so it's time for bed. Good night, everybody. Night. Night, night. Night. Good night, Bob. <sighs> I can't sleep. Hmm. Is something wrong, Philip? There's a smell of oil and oh, old cloths. Yeah, that's my collection of old oily rags. I can't possibly sleep in here. You can have my shed if you like. Um, careful as you back right in. It's a little bit... Yes, thank you, Lofty. I'm very good at parking. Right. Hmm. Acceptable. <laughs> oh! Ooh, what was that? Is everything okay, Philip? Who's using a chainsaw at this time of night? Oh, that's just Roly snoring. I got used to it. It's actually quite pleasant. Well, I can't sleep in this shed. I need peace and quiet. <sighs> Muck, I need your shed. Really? I can't sleep outside. What if there was a dust storm in the night? Oh, okay. Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Suppose I'll have to find somewhere else to sleep. You'll get poor prints all over me. Get off! <sighs> oh! Oh! <laughs> That's where my other sock got to. And. <gasps> uh, I could listen to the lovely music all day. Ha, ha, ha.
Very good, everyone. Well done. Bravo! Bravo! I think it's time for you all to return to the yard and help Leo with the tidying up. Okay, Bob. Let's go. Bye. See you later, Bob. Bye. Oh. oh. Um, Rolly. Can't I stay a bit longer? Well, there's not. But I like hearing you practice. Yes, but... Luncheon is served. Tuna, spinach, and banana sandwiches. Great. Right. Excellent. Come on, Bob. Jump right in. Coming. See you later. Hmm. What is Leo doing in there? Uh, hi, guys. What are you doing? You can make some really crazy sounds with this stuff. Huh? Listen. Wow. How exciting. It's great, Leo. Hey, we can make our own band. Scoop and the Machines. That's a silly name. And anyway, we're supposed to be tidying up. And we will, Lofty, we will. After we've made some music. Well, as my old dear granny always used to say, a band can't play on an empty stomach. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. Leo? What? Hello? Is that you, Bob? Can you hear me? What's all that noise? Pardon? Sorry, Bob. It's a bit noisy. Keep it down, guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! Forgot to tell him. Uh. Why is it taking so long to put the supplies away? Uh, uh, um... uh, never mind. Let's get both these jobs finished today, guys. We can do it! Come on, Lofty. You're with me. Okay. If we find Pilcher quickly, Bob will never need to know she was missing. We need to look everywhere. Let's go! Where are you? Pilchard! What are oh. you doing, Mom? Oh. Shh! I frightened Pilchard out of the yard, but I don't want to worry Bob. I need to find her. Oh, I'll help you. No, no sign of... No sign of what, Dizzy? Oh! Uh, no sign of us finishing anytime soon. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hmm. Whoa! It wasn't me! I didn't press anything! Oh, Pilchard! She's in the car wash! She might shrink and be the size of a hamster! No, she's not there. <gasps> Maybe she's gone back to the yard. How did that start up? Pilchard! Pilchard! Oh. I guess the supplies are all put away now, hmm? Uh, doing it now, Bob. I'll need some help. Oh. Yeah, okay. Here. Here. Here, kitty kitty. Leo? Oh. Shouldn't you be supervising back at the yard? Um, uh, yes, Wendy. But I, uh, need Lofty to look into some more heavy lifting. Really? How heavy? Um, you need to come and look, Lofty. Oh, I'll look, Leo. That's very important. They're all acting very strangely today, Bob. Hmm. Pilchard! Pilchard! Please come back! We miss you! Hi, Anish. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container by any chance? I'm afraid not, Muck. I was expecting a delivery of ancient Egyptian statues. But this seems to be full of sporty stuff like soccer balls. 
and hockey sticks. Oh, I must find Tutan. Did he say where he was going next? No, he didn't. Sorry, Muck. Oh, okay. See ya. Bye, Muck. Ooh, this is awesome. This ride's gonna be the coolest thing we've ever built. <sighs> What's taking Muck so long? He and Tutan should be back by now. Oh. Hello, Muck. Hello, oh, Hiya. Hiya. We're off to the sports stadium. Sky's got a big surprise for us. Oh, that's exciting. I'm looking for Tutan, but I can't find him anywhere. Have you seen him? We passed him at the town hall not long ago. It looked like he was dropping off a big delivery. Thank you so much, Betsy. See ya. Oh, be careful now. Oh, dear me, no. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container, please? Uh, no, just dozens of old statues packed in crates of straw. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bentley. Bye. I was expecting new furniture for the town hall. A sofa for the mayor's office, some lovely colorful cushions. I'm never gonna find two ton in time. Now I'll have to tell Bob the bad news. It's looking great. We're getting there, Wendy. But we still need to install those props, Bob. And soon. Ah, there you are, Muck. Any luck? Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. I've been looking everywhere, but I still can't find Tutan. But without that container of props, we can't finish the ride. I did see one container at the museum and another at the town hall, but they didn't have our props. Ah, but what was inside the Muck? Uh, let's see. Mm, Mr. Bentley had statues, but he wanted sofas. Anish had oh. soccer balls and sporty stuff, but he wanted statues. Well, we've got Mr. Bentley's sofas. That's right, Leo. So where would all the sporty stuff need to go? The Sports, sports stadium. stadium! Oh, Betsy and the Spring City Rockets were going to the Sports Stadium. Safi said something about a big surprise. That could be it. A surprise container of sports equipment. Come on, Muck. Let's go and find out. Well, this is a surprise, Tutan. Just not quite the one I was expecting. Stop there, Muck. That's enough to make it half full. And perfect. Ooh, look. Where'd that crate come from? It's like in Bob's story. Yes, but Bob said it wasn't scary because Wendy had moved it. So has Wendy moved this crate then, Scoop? Uh, no. There's no one else here. So we're alone and the crate just got there all by itself? Quick, Scoop, do something brave. Get the crate out of here! Of course. Sure, yeah, yeah, I can do that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. oh, look! Wendy is here! She must have moved the crate. You did move it, didn't you, Wendy? Please say you moved it. Please. Yes, I left it on the path whilst Lofty was finishing the entrance. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you all. Oh, you didn't scare Scoop. He's way too brave. Right, Scoop? Th th that's right. I, I wasn't scared at all. Not one bit. Oh, so they're the pretend dinosaur bones to hide in the sand pit. Yes, and there are three more crates. Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra -la -la, la -la -la -la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary like like this one okay right just one long path to go so i'm gonna go 
I'm going. Now. Scoop? 